All right, no time to explain, gang. Welcome back. King Zeff here, back with another video for you guys. Happy Tuesday. Hope you guys are having a good start to your week. I know I still owe you guys a Rush Duel. Uh, actually, I think it's the last Rush Duel box I have left. Um, don't even remember what that set is called. Um, so this video was supposed to drop a little while ago. Didn't get a chance to open it because your boy's been a little tired. Work was a little stressful out. As also, I was too busy getting my hands on this thing. So, um... The booster box for the original, the very first set, Legend of Blue Eyes, the very first set, so 25 years, 25th anniversary, um, booster box is released last Friday slash Wednesday, depending on if you had an OTS store that released it early. My store, um, fortunately, didn't get it Wednesday. They got it Thursday, and um, so it was a little bit of a mess and a kerfuffle in terms of getting inventory in stock, so I did get one of these. I also did get a box of Metal Raiders. I'll be opening that, um, that later this week as well, so that video should be dropping Thursday, and then whenever uh, Spell Ruler, for uh, Feral Servant, and Invasion of Chaos drops, I'll be doing those as well. Um, this week is also a preview event for the Duelist Nexus set that comes out at the very end of the month. So that set actually comes out, what is it? Not the 29th, I think it's the 28th slash 26th, depending on if you have an OTS store, you can go get your cards at Target or Walmart or anything like that. Um, that preview event is supposed to be this coming Saturday. I, they have not released the list of stores that are participating in that event yet. So if one of my stores happens to be doing that event, I'll be getting that box opening. You'll see that video Saturday or Sunday. So there'll be quite a few openings coming up soon. If not, then of course, when the box actually drops the following week, then I'll be cracking it open. We already did it for the OCG. So we'll be doing it for the TCG this time. So the cards will be in English, which means I'll be able to read them and see what most of the cards do as opposed to the couple leaks and spoilers and stuff that I've seen before, but we'll be able to do that all together when that time comes. So until then, make sure if you're a new viewer or a returning viewer that just hasn't hit that subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, subscribe, do those things, help us out, Get us, let us build. We're getting ever slow, slightly closer to that 500 subscriber goal so we can do our very first giveaway. We know a lot of you still watch the videos and have not subscribed, so do something, hit that button. If, we, if, you, like, if you like seeing my face and hearing our voice and other videos that are soon to be coming, especially past the playlist coming back within the next two weeks and a bunch of other things and content that you would like to see from us, leave that comment below. Hit the subscribe button so that you know what's coming. We're also going to be doing our weekly stream on Wednesday again. Uh, this time, I believe Ego had the idea of doing Diablo's hardcore runs. Um, for the streams for the time being. So we'll see how that goes. I know the season starts the very next week. So that's going to cause a bunch of other stuff going on and all that other jazz. But we'll figure that out when the time comes. But we have the weekly stream on Wednesday. And then, of course, I'll be opening this box, um, the next couple boxes throughout the next couple weeks. So that stuff is coming soon. And then also a lot of new product is coming because Legacy, the Legendary Duelist set comes, I think, the week after that. And then the 10s come out a couple weeks after that. So a lot of good Yu-Gi-Oh stuff coming, and, and I think a uh, Speed Duel set is coming out as well, where we actually get the reprint of the Arcana Dark Magician. So a lot of stuff happening this month, slash next month. Um, so just be on the lookout for that. So just make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, so that way when we drop videos, you know when they're available, so that way you can see them all. So without further ado, actually one last thing. One of the goals, I'm sorry, I'm gonna turn away from the camera, I have for this pack is actually this thing right here. So this is one of my two binders. Um, last month when the Legendary Collection released, those videos are in our archives, so you can go check the channel for that and see how that opening went. Um, since I never got a chance and I lost a lot of my cards due to the fact that, you know, being a 10, 11 year old kid in the 2000s and then collecting cards, you know, you're just irresponsible with them, you're not keeping them safe, you're throwing them all over the place, you're getting cringled and all the other stuff. Um, a lot of cards I had were lost. And so I never actually got a chance to really collect that. So actually this binder and another binder is actually the full sets of the five, uh, five or six packs, actually the six packs that came in the legendary collection. So we are still missing quite a few cards. So we're not gonna be able to get everything out of the box because a lot of the cards are missing are the super rares and ultra rares and there's just too many of them to pull in the box. So we're gonna see if we can get even closer to pulling that. And then, but there are a couple rares and um, commons that I'm missing. So hopefully I'll be able to pull that out of that box. So the goal would be to get all the rares and commons out of this booster box and a couple more super rares and ultras and see if we can get that last secret rare. Cause I believe I have Trihorn Dragon already. I don't have Guy of the Dragon Champion, which is the other one. I heard through the grapevine that the ratios with this is actually one secret rare per box, which is better than it used to be when it first came out 25 years ago. But we'll put that to the test when crack it open. So without further ado, let's get this thing open. So the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon set. 
the very first set of Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, the very first set of Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, f post Bandai, because the Bandai had a, they had, they did have an, an, an original um, release through Bandai um, in the 90s. I've seen a couple of those cards. I don't know how, I know those cards are extremely rare before they switched over to Upper Deck when the game actually came out. So this is actually like the first real set that came out in America and in English. So there you go. Filled to the brim, 24 packs, nine cards a piece. Old school ratio. So every pack has a, a rare at the absolute least. Some will come with a rare and a super rare or rare and ultra rare and all that other fun stuff. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a quick little pack shuffle with these. Cause I don't feel like just pulling out right and left sides. We're just gonna crack these bad boys open as soon as possible. Since a lot of these cards are old, we're not gonna waste a whole lot of time with these because this is a reprint set. But of course we're gonna be focusing on a lot of the more important staple cards on top of that. So there we go. First time cracking this thing open. And actually this is the first time I've actually gotten a booster box of this, of this set. I've never gotten a box. I think the very first booster box I ever bought was from Invasion of Chaos. Okay. And then I actually have this list next to me that I'm probably gonna be glancing at back and forth because I don't remember which cards I'm missing <laughs> unless I look at this list that I have. So we have Dark World Thorns, Yami, Hard Armor, Beast Fangs, Dark Flare Dragon, and all right, off the gate, an ultra rare Exodia the Forbidden One, right on jump. This, this is one of the ones that we're missing, but look at that. Very first ultra rare, very first pack is the head of Exodia. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. This box is already, this box is already good to me so far. I, that could be the only ultra rare in here and I'll be somewhat satisfied, but for real, for real, I'm hoping I pull Red Eyes Black Dragon or uh, Dark Magician, because I think those are the other two staple ones that I'm missing. Larva, Yumi, Fayaru, Monster Conversion Factory, followed by the Goblin Secret Remedy, Sandstorm, Dark Energy, Basic Insect, and Follow Wind. I can go ahead and knock one card off my list. I need to see what commons I have off on all my lists. Actually, I'm staring at it really quickly right now. Uh, looks like Raised Body Heat, no, it's a rare. So what are the commons I'm missing? I know I'm missing forest. Uh, forest is the main common out of here that I'm missing. Forest and, oh, and, and uh, sandstone, which I think it is pulled. Hold on, let me go back here real quick. Yes, let me go ahead and slap him over here with Exodia because he's one of the ones I'm missing. Like I said, he almost pulled a fast one on me even though I would have double checked it after the fact. All right, proceeding. Uh, let's see, uh, Dissolver Rock, Hitatsumi Giant, uh, Fiaragaru, and I see the hollow Fisher. Did I have Fisher in my notes? I think I did, followed by Gaia, the Dragon Champion. Here is the other secret rare. I'm two for two. I am two for two right now. I'm gonna sleeve those a little bit later because I have different sleeves based on having in the binder. Dark Energy, Legendary Sword, and Dark. So right off jump, first three packs, we have a Gaia, the Dragon Champion, as well as Exodia, the Forbidden One. There we go, we're, we're moving. This is already this is already turning into a very great opening so far, and I'm ecstatic. Yumi, Mystical Sheep, Amaral, Turtle Tiger, Stop Defense, Stop Defense. Do I have a Stop Defense? Stop Defense is something that I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap him over here. Lesser Dragon, Spike Cedra, Legendary Sword, Red um, Skull Red Bird. Moving on, next pack. But this brings me back to my childhood, getting my very first starter decks for my birthday and everything in between. Which actually looking through a lot of my sets for the cards that I have left. And up oh, there's the Celtic Guardian. Uh, is he on my list? Yes, Celtic Guardian is on my list. I'm on a sandstorm and a forest. This was the one field spell I was looking for. I'm gonna throw him up there as well. And the dragon treasure, was that on my list? No, dragon capture jar is on my list. I would post my list on the side with you guys, but it's kind of, it has a, a bunch of cards on it. So I'm just kind of eyeballing a couple things. I know a lot of cards I'm missing are the rares and the ultra. So it makes it a little bit easier for me to track. But remembering back in the day, um, going through my binder, uh, Gravekeeper's Golem, I'm gonna put you in the rares, Trap Beast and Warrior number two, Hiotama and Hiotama Soul. Um, yeah, I was just going through a lot of my older cards earlier today that I had left. And I realized I had a lot of stuff, but I just didn't have a lot of first edition cards. So I'm assuming that probably by the time I actually bought packs and was getting stuff from my parents, they were um, they were all reprints at that point in time or the uh, or the unlimited versions. Cause I was looking at them stuff, I'm like, oh wow, I have this old card. 
and it's in really good shape, but it was not a, <laughs> they weren't in first ed, so it was kind of like disturbing. Cause I'm like, well, I've been playing the game since the game came out. So I'm surprised the number of first edition cards I have is very, very low, but it is what it is. Like I said, things happen. You know, when you're a kid, you're doing a whole bunch of other stuff and stupid stuff. So I probably was an idiot and did some stupid, uh, crazy things with that two prong attack. That's something I definitely do need. Sand gang, first crash, book of secret arts. And there we go on that side. Moving on, I think about six packs deep. So so far we pull, what is it? Three hollows, yeah, Celtic, uh, Celtic Guardian, um, Exodia and Gaia. So those are the three hollows we pulled so far. Skull Servant, Enchanting Mermaid, Flame Yaru, another Flame Ghost, second one of that already. Drooling, um, Drooling Lizard, Kamari, Man Eater and Yurabi. I'm just gonna mispronounce half of these cards in here because a lot of them are common and they really don't care. Moving on, Trial from, um, Trial from Nightmare, which was originally called Trial from Hell. I wish I would have had this, uh-oh, dropping the camera. <laughs> Up fumble, go ahead and dropping stuff. Um, I wish I actually had um, this in original because this was called Trial from Hell originally before the reprint, they changed the name of it. Um, but I don't have this card. I have a Harpy's Brother, but I don't have that one, unfortunately. Uh, Ruba, Laser Cannon, Arm Ninja, the 13th Grave, Kermaru, Violet Crystal, and Kirama. All right, let's try not to drop my camera. <laughs> Uh-oh, this pack's a little super glued. That means there must be something good in here. <clears throat> Sorry, it's clear my voice. This pack is being difficult to open, so there must be something hot in here. <laughs> I was like, come on, Blue Eyes White Dragon, even though I don't need it. <laughs> Ray of uh, Temperature. Electro Whip, Hard War, another Fissure, followed by the right leg of the Forbidden One. So here's our second Ultra Rare. I think I have the right leg of the Forbidden One already. I'm gonna have to double check that one. I either have the right leg or the left leg, so I think um, I have to double check which leg I already have, because I have one of the pieces of Exodia from the other boxes. But I did not remember which one it is, if it's right or left. Remove Trap, Electro Whip, Masaki, the Silver Bow and Arrow, Flower Wolf, Fiend Reflection, Dark Gray, Dragon Trap Capture, okay. We're not really getting many rares out of here. I've seen more of the same rares in this box than anything else, which is kind of upsetting because there's a lot of them in here. We got Yumi, Terror the Terrible, Raise Body Heat, which I believe is one of the cards I do need. I'm sorry, I'm glancing because it's less, less, it is one of the cards I need. Um, and then Spirit of the Harp. I believe I already have Spirit of the Harp. Furious, another Forest, another Wasteland, and all that other stuff in between. All right, let's keep it moving. See, this one's being a little difficult to open, so this one, this one has something hot inside. Let's find out. Red medicine, larvas, machine conversion, um, another raised body heat, pot of greed, which I definitely needed. Beaver warrior, the furious sea king, witty phantom, and the steel orger grottle number one. I think we're putting a very small dent in, putting a very small dent in here. Surprised we only ran into one super so far though. So we got two ultras, one super. We already pulled the secret. So let's see. Skull Servant, Sparks, Petite Angel, uh, M Warrior number one, Giant Soldier of Stone. I think I needed Giant Soldier of Stone. Yes, I did. Uh, Firegrass, Metabat, One Eyed um, Shield Dragon, and then another Violet Crystal. All right, we're down to our last, looks like eight packs. Looks like eight out of this box left. You're gonna make me buy another box of this. <laughs> Mystical Sheep, number two. Terror of the Terrible, Typhlone, Magical Moon, Fusionist. I think that's the second one we pulled out of that. Sogan, M Warrior number two, Wasteland, and Petite Dragon. So the rares are actually upsetting me because the rares we have pulled, I'm seeing more duplicates and rares than anything else, which is kind of sad. And a one rare is guaranteed in every pack, but I feel like I shouldn't be seeing that many duplicates of rares out of all 24 of these packs. Frenzy Panda, Electro Whip, Silver Bow Arrow, um, Beast Fangs, another Stop Defense, Coromado, Fiend for Reflection number two, Skull Red, and then Maneater. All right, moving on. I count, looks like six, maybe seven packs left. My math is really poor because I'm looking at this from an angle and some other cards are kind of all overlaying on top of each other. Monster Egg, Terror the Terrible, Vile Germ, Final Flame, I did need Final Flame, followed by a Polymerization. 
is our other super rare. We finally pulled another super. I think I already pulled polymerization, but I'll double check that as time passes. Um, I don't see polymerization in my list of cars, so I probably already pulled it. That might've been the first one I pulled uh, when I got um, the legendary collection. So there's a good chance that I've already had that one. Moving on, we have Two Mouth Dark Ruler, Mystic Moon, Mazaki, Metal Dragon, which I already have, and followed by a Curse of Dragon. There we go, another super. I know I needed that one. Um, Dark Gray, Hiotama Soul, and Kirama. I feel like all the all the hitters are at the very end of this list. All right, last four packs. Let's see if we can get another Ultra. Another Ultra, maybe one more super, and that'd be really cool. Red Medicine. Um, Monster Egg, Mizaki, Raised Body Heat, followed by the um, Cherubin, the Flame Knight, followed by a Flame Swordsman. There's another super. I already had the Flame Swordsman, so that's going to be disappointing that we pulled him a second time. But hey, I have another one now. Might have to, might have to, might have to include him in a giveaway or something. I don't know. We'll figure that one out later. Dark World Thorns, Frenzy Panda, Silver Fang, um, Mizarazumi. Another cherub in the fire, mountain and mammoth graveyard, one-eyed fish, uh, one eye, one-eyed fish, one-eyed dragon, and Hirotama. Last three packs. Come on, get yeah, one more solid super or one more ultra would be beautiful. But so far, I think all the ultras we pulled were ultras that we needed. Um, still hoping for that red eyes black dragon and that um, dark magician. So. We got um, Dissolver Rock, King Fog, Mizarizumi, Laser Arm Cannon, followed by the Chroma Warrior, Sogan, Flame Manipulator, Book Secret Arts, and the Follow Wind. Alrighty, last two packs. Come on, Dark Magician or Red Eyes Black Dragon. Come on, you're in here. I can feel it. I can feel it. Trial of Nightmare, Succubus Knight, Silver Fang, Vile Germ, um, Flower Wolf. 13th grave so you're not in here all right last pack last pack magic come on come on you know what i'm gonna smell this one real quick <sighs> the smell of fresh cards is like cocaine anyway <laughs> mystical sheep number two enchanting mermaid armorale turtle um Final Flame and Beaver War, so nothing else out of that one, unfortunately. But we did get some pretty decent pulls out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can pick this pile up without damaging anything. So we did pull, everything's all discombobulated because I can't hold cards. So we did get a Flame Swordsman, which I already had, Crystal Dragon, which I'm missing from the list, Polymerization, I think we already had, Final Flame, Giant Soldier Stone, Pot of Greed, Raised Body Heat, the right leg of Exodia. I gotta double check if I have the right leg. Uh, actually, I'm glancing at this list right now. It looks like, no, I needed the left leg, so I already have a right leg. So I'll be the second or third one I actually pulled from this. Forest, Celtic Guardian, Guy of the Dragon Champion, Sandstone, and Exodia, the Forbidden One. So at least we did pull two pieces of Exodia. This is one of the wrong pieces of Exodia, but one of them that I did need, the other one I don't. So that's going to conclude this old school opening. Be tuned for Thursday because Thursday we're going to be doing Metal Raiders. And I believe the other three boxes should be coming in the mail that sometime that week. So we'll just spread the openings out. So up next week will be um, Spell Ruler and Feral Servant. And then at that point in time will be um, Invasion of Chaos will be the last one. So in the meantime, like, comment, and subscribe. Join the fold. Join the clan. Let us know how you feel. Let us know if we pull anything out of here that you were looking for or some of your favorite cards out of here. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to pull the Red-Eyes Black Dragon or the Dark Magician, but eh, it comes, comes with the territory. Out of what we did pull out of this box, the ratios looked really good compared to what they used to be old back in the day, and we did pull some very nice stuff out of here. So, like, comment, subscribe, tell us what your favorite cards out of here were, some of the card you're chasing after, um, and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, stay tuned. Wednesday's a stream night. Thursday's going to be for Metal Raiders, so we'll see what we get out of that. I believe Metal Raiders is the one set I'm missing the most cards out of because they're just, I believe Metal Raiders had 144 cards as opposed to 120 and it just had a lot. So there's a lot of cards out of there. I know I'm missing. So we'll see if we can pull those out. In the meantime, this is King Jeff here. No time to explain. I'm out.